just a voice. It's Edward's voice in the in the book, and so I guess it would either look pretty, um, probably pretty cheesy if it's just my voice. I mean, <laughs> um, so they've kind of they've done these hallucinations, kind of semi uh, semi visible like apparitions. They're subjective. It's like how she remembers him, not necessarily like how he actually is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never looked at it as a vampire story. I mean, right from the beginning. I mean, and when I try and play it, I mean, try and eliminate the vampire element as much as I can and just kind of see it as uh, a, uh, a tool to make their relationship a bit more fraught. But, um,. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I find myself being, I mean, right after the audition, I found myself kind of bizarrely um, invested in the story. And I hadn't even read the books at that point or anything. And I've kind of got more and more attached to it. I mean, we were talking, I've been talking about the script for Eclipse to people over the last few weeks. And I find myself getting very um, argumentative, which uh, I'm not usually. Um, yeah, it's. I, I don't know. It's a kind of, They definitely have some kind of power. I don't know. Another Comic Con. How's it for all three of you? How's it feel to be back again this year? It's good. It's uh, exciting. I mean, I think last year Comic Con was the big eye opener for us. So uh, it's awesome to be back and embrace all of our fans again for everything they've done this past year. Great. You can't claim ignorance anymore. You basically have to have actually something to say, which is much more terrifying. More difficult to prepare for this role than it was last time around, or vice versa? Um, I wouldn't say that one was more difficult than the other. Um, this is definitely a more, I mean, it's a severely emotional movie that's like not a, um, I mean, everybody knows that. It, that's, just, that's the one big difference is that she's not, it's not, this movie's not about discovery or like falling in love, which is sort of just as, it's an intense emotion, but this is like low, and, and um, there, there are high points for her too. I mean, you know, she's like a manic depressive basically, and to have a character that's able to pull her out of that is, um, you know, it's a hefty feat, which I think he pulled off. But, but for me, like, um, I don't know that there was there was no difference. There was no difference. It was just it was just sort of a heavier. It was just more to think about. Uh, she it's like she's it's a more mature part. She's strictly because she's older. Um, and she has more to, more to, more to deal with. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Right. Can you talk a little bit about how your lives have changed since we saw you here last summer? <laughs> um, I don't know. I'd like to think that I haven't changed that much. I mean, you know, within myself, I don't think I've changed. I guess I, I, when I'm walking around the street, I look down a lot more often. <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> there's something wrong with my neck. <laughs> no, uh, um, no, it is. It's kind of extraordinary. I don't think any of us expected any of this to happen, and especially, it seems to keep building and building the. Uh, the magnitude of this franchise and uh, yeah I mean Comic Con really was the eye opener and, and it's just kind of got bigger and bigger which is very you know it's, a, it's an interesting thing to deal with true that <laughs> I think another thing I mean it's kind of obvious uh, that's changed for me is just my schedule I've been really really busy um, doing publicity and working on other things and uh, but yeah it's crazy uh, none of us saw it coming and uh, past year has definitely been a ride for all of us I cut my hair off <laughs> um. you have like a favorite scene when you were shooting a scene that really stands out in your mind as being your favorite scene personally to shoot and why well your favorite scene never it didn't turn out to be your favorite one right <laughs> all right that was cute, though. Yeah. Originally, my I have a lot of favorite scenes, so this is a really difficult question for me. Um, I like a lot of the cool action scenes I get to do, because um, I just I had a lot of fun with those. Um, you can do backflips and things like that. Anyways. Um, <laughs> 
I, I, my original favorite scene was this is really small scene. I just thought it was kind of cute. But uh, no, I. What was it? it? It was the scene where <laughs> I, I, I walk her up to her door and uh, say goodbye to her, and I'm going off to fight in the woods, and uh, she's she's worried. She's scared for me. So I thought it was kind of cute. Oh. <laughs> but no, I also like the breakup scene. Yeah, that's my favorite scene. Mm -hmm. So definitely, like, well, I mean, we call it a breakup scene because right. essentially he he like basically tells her that they can't be friends anymore, and he's he's transforming. Yes. And uh, it's like the it was like the most hard, I, I, like I, I, if you ever said anything if you ever ever treated me like that you'd kill me. <laughs> <laughs> and it was also painful to shoot yeah. because. It was 35 degrees, and uh, we were being poured rain on uh, by rain tower rain, which is straight from the spring, so it's ice. It was out of a well. Ugh. I really... Yeah, that was bad, and I wasn't really wearing much. Me, the one Twilight question you never want to answer again. <laughs> What's it like kissing Taylor Lautner? <laughs> right. What was yours? <laughs> um, to growl. Um, or, well, I, actually, I'm asked that d more by uh, by fans. They asked me to growl for them, um, and I really don't enjoy doing that. <laughs> so that's for the fans. Please don't ask me to growl. <laughs> Just wait for the movie. Um, I, I know. You can ask me anything you want. <laughs> She's easy. Yeah. Thank you. Now that's already on blog somewhere. So. I know. Thank I you know, very I'm much. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Around with sort of heightened expectations and, and, and a whole new project for you. Um. I mean, it wasn't just the director that made this one different. I mean, I, it's it was so different as well because. We kind of knew what kind of animal we were dealing with more, and uh, um, and I was much more of a supporting role in this one. So I mean, I I, I started three weeks after they started shooting, um, and I did a lot of my first scenes with the apparition scenes, which involved me doing like maybe one word a week. So it's kind of. Uh, it was actually one of the most relaxing jobs I've ever done, and, and add to that, Chris is a very. Uh, um, sort of peaceful presence and it's kind of and I got on really well with him I mean it was I mean I mean, I, I, I had a pretty much stress free uh, job three months I mean it was it was great for me all the pressure was on Taylor <laughs>